and love bugs is rolling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And... If you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, do whatever you shall please, as long as it's positive. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a couple of lines on, you know, the con subject or the content of my video today, or just do your experience on anything that's spiritual um, that you might be going through that you might feel comfortable in talking about and you would like to share. I would greatly appreciate it. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Namaste. Many blessings, love and light. Love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for coming to see about the change today. Um, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, are you all jokesters? Yes, today I'm listening to Bruno Mars Finesse. I'm just jamming. So um, I'll go ahead and put that in the link down below if you like that beat. I know anything I listen to with Bruno, Bruno Mars, I love Bruno Mars, but I didn't really start getting into him until this last album. I mean, I love. You know, that's what I like. 24 karat uh, magic, the nest, Versace on the floor. Oh my goodness, he, that boy can really sing. Um, I love that song. So it, it's just like, you know, I like to have it, the happy, you know, music. I always do meditations and um, anything that's spiritual. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I always put the link, or at least try to at least. Uh, for meditations or any kind of positive music, you know, if it's pertaining to blocking negative, negative energy, psychic, um, psychic protection, uh, for love and abundance, anything, you know, I try to go ahead and put those links down there, you know, anything positive, whatever. But, you know, as I have said before, I have recently found out that I was at Hayoka a few months ago. And it's just like learning this about my life because there's so many of us that are not blessed enough to know, you know, um, the, you know, the knowledge about, you know, what am I, you know, do, am I clairvoyant, you know, am I an empath, am I an indigo, am I a star seed, am I a crystal, am I a hayoka? But it's just like the, you know, I'm not trying to hype hayokas up, but it's just like. We're so rare and it's so special and it's just the way we go about stuff is like adventurous. I mean, I mean, it's just never a dull moment with us. If we're not helping somebody, it's like we're getting into something. If we're not getting into something, we're in trouble. If we're not in trouble, it is something we're trying to figure out. And it's like anytime that we feel like we're compelled to see somebody that's sad, I mean, we even, it's bad enough it is, we, we can already pick it up. It's just, you know, like walking in the room. You can, you can feel all the energy. And it's just like sometimes when I'm with a group of people and I have to practice on it, that I get really nervous because it's not the fact that I'm not confident or anything like that, but it's just thoughts among everybody else that makes me nervous because I'm like, I could come out. And it's like, the way I'm so sensitive, my somebody else's thoughts might come spearing out my mouth. And I'm like, where the hell did this come from? <laughs> you know, and it's just so, it, it, it's like with my friends, it's like that they, they hung out with me and they know me. I've always been the joke, so I've always been that person that, you know, they'll listen to you. And, um, you know, you ask me about some things, I might, you know, tell you my experience on the things that I went through and, you know. And it was just so many things, and it's just like with us, it's just we take things seriously, but we're more we're more of the life of the party. Like, you know, I, I'm like me, I'm like, hey, I want you to have fun when you're around me. I don't want you to be sad. I don't want you to be, you know, be a Debbie Downer. Don't be coming around me with that mess, you know, you want to be, you know, misery, mercy, or whatever, you know, Mary or whatever. I, I'm like, nah, stay away. Hi, bye. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, but other than that, it's just like when me and my friends, it's just they know me. They, they know I do impressions. 
like um that you know if i see one of my friends in a bad mood i will come up and do um one of the actresses is just like really i, I don't know if a lot of people can do her unless you actually are hispanic and have a spanish accent um so sofia velgara Sofia Felgara, I used to always watch her, and it's just like in different movies, but I loved her, and Medea Goes to Jail, and that movie was so funny, they were like, why was I do Sofia? So when they always ask me to do Sofia, I don't know if they're talking about Sofia from The Color Purple, talking about all my life, I had to play, but I killed Hoppo Dead if he beat me, you know, or they want me to go to, I could eat him, I could eat him, and I'm going to be locked up forever. I'm going to be the first serial killer. And I took the brownie for my brownie. And you know, they were always asking me to do stuff like that. Or I'll do Bernie Mac or any kind of weird impressions. Like I do my dad sometimes. And people just start marking, you know, laughing like, hey, do your dad. And I'll do like his walk or something. Or say funky or something like that. Something he does. And it's just like, they're like, well, how do you do that? And I've always been able to mimic people. It's like, even when I was little. It's like I would watch my dad, and um, I remember the first uh, performance I seen him on was with Dick Clark on American Bandstand when he did uh, I Want to Be Your Lover and Why You Treat Me So Bad. And I remember watching that so many times, it's like when it came back on TV, uh, especially when we were overseas, and I was like seven years old, and I would have a microphone in my hand, like I had my own microphone, drums, and you know, pianos and guitars, you know, little toy stuff like that. So I had my little microphone and, you know, doing the little dances like he do, or my mom would always try to bring me around because I would be my, my, my family's entertainment. Like, if you bring in a little kid out, then it's just like little Eddie Murphy, like when he was coming out, except I wouldn't do dirty joke stuff. But uh, I would always seem to be the center of making somebody laugh. And it's, you know, I'm just wondering all hell feels like that because it's like we're the sacred clowns. We're the jokesters. You know, we like to pull pranks. You know, my dad's a prankster. He'll do that. Like, you know, hey, hey, Jay. You know, uh, what's wrong with your chair, Jay? You know, talking to Jay, Jay Leno or whatever. And my dad used to play pranks on people and stuff all the time. And I really wish I, I could have did something like that. Like, dad, I would have been playing pranks on my dad all day. So it would have been just fine. But, you know, I'm just wondering if all hell feels like that. Are you one of the ones that, you know... People come to you and it's just like, or you'll say something in their mouth and drop like, did you just really say that? And did you just really say that out loud? Because I remember there was one time I was at a job and this woman looked like Big Mama from Big Mama's house. The movie the Martin dressed up as Big Woman. And she looks hair like that and everything. Now I'm like, why is this woman walking around looking like Big Mama and working my last damn nerve? And it, she would be that one that everybody be scared of, but she was the preacher. But she'd be the ones that just all up in people's business all the time. One of those little busybody preachers. So I'm not getting on anybody who's religious. I'm a very spiritual person, but not religious. Um, I don't believe in label things. I've tried pretty much everything that I've um, had. So I'm just like... Um, You know, I, I'm just, I've tried everything. So, it, it's just the only thing I have not done is uh, Jehovah's Witness or Muslim. I haven't did that. But, you know, I've tried all the other, you know, all the other religions. But, um, you know, I just never really fit into any of those. And it was like, you know, you know, growing up, being in class time in school, getting in trouble, I'll be the first one sitting up in front of the, you know, chalkboard. You know, and it was just bad. We had reporters in the classroom one day, and I just so happened to be in the newspaper. And my mom and them didn't know that I was sitting in front of the classroom. Like, nobody else's uh, desk was sitting up in front of the, you know, in front of the classroom to set mine. And so I'd be sitting up there embarrassed because I wouldn't turn, stop turning around talking to folks so my teacher sat me in the front. And then I got in front of the big newspaper, and I, my mom had a clipping of it and got in trouble. She was like, how they gonna catch you? Not just the fact that is they got you in the newspaper. I'm proud of you with that. But why they got you in front of the classroom? Because you done got in trouble. Once again, we told you, but the teacher just so happened didn't tell. But 
you know, I was just the jokester of the classroom, so they ended up putting me in the newspaper for it. So, but it was just like a good experience, and I'm not trying to ramble on. You know, if you want to go ahead and drop a line or two, it'll be greatly appreciated. Make sure it's positive. Spread the love. Keep giving out positive frequency and energy if you possibly can. And much love to you. Have be safe this weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Keep me in your prayers, and I will definitely keep you in mind. And many blessings, much love and light, light and namaste to you. Peace. And be wild.